Hi, I'm back to do another one of the month of challenges over at the lily pad. This time, the one that I'm going to go ahead and tackle is January 23rd, which is the scrapbook challenge. So I like to just review the requirements before I start the page so I can make sure that I'm doing it all correct. And for this one, it's pretty simple. It's just scrap lifting a poly. So double checking there's no other requirements, journaling or anything. Nope, just any page out of a uh, Polywogs team gallery. So I've already browsed the gallery because it's taken me forever to decide on a page. Seriously, I think I've been in the gallery like six or seven times and I just keep finding more and more things that I like and I'm like, oh my goodness, what about this one? What about this one? So finally I was like, I just need to commit to one. So the one that I am committing to today is by Lori and it's pretty simple, which is not normally a style I do a lot. But I think it's great for the picture I want to scrap, which is of our cruise. When we went on our cruise, we were um, on the, what is it called? Holland America. And one of the things that Holland America did was they changed out the floor mat in every single one of the, or well, in the elevators every single day. And so I thought it would be really fun when I saw that on the cruise ship to take a picture every day and to try to kind of use it as like a title page so that each of our days is together on the cruise because it gets kind of crazy of everything going on and I thought this would be a fun way to remember. So there was four of us on the cruise. There was my husband and you can kind of see his foot over here. There was me, there was my son, and then there was my mother-in-law. And a lot of the other pictures have our feet on there a little bit better, but this is the only Sunday picture I got because it was kind of a lark that I suddenly decided to do it. But for this picture, I am going to go ahead and use Becca Bonneville's kit at the lily pad called Sunday Morning. I'm like, oh, it feels like the perfect thing. Kind of Sunday is for relaxing. It was the first day we got on the cruise. So I thought, ah, that might be fun for the ship. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the layout again. And it doesn't have to be an exact copy, so I'm just kind of looking at the design. So I really liked what caught my eye was the way it has the photo and then the little journal card. So I'm like, cool, I can do the photo and then I can add a little card just kind of talking about what the itinerary was for that day, which, because it was the first day, isn't really much. So, go ahead and start scrapping it. And I'd like having our feet on there, so I am going to go ahead and leave it large rather than just cut it down all the way to just a little tiny bit of it. But I like seeing our feet because it's kind of like this is who was there. And I really don't know how we managed it, but we did manage to do every single day with all four of us in the elevator at once and get our feet and nobody else's. No idea how we did that, but it was kind of a fun little thing and it was unplanned when we first started. So it was really cool that it worked out because I had no idea that they changed out the elevators. So let's see, we'll have a little journal card, but I don't want it to cover all of the feet. My son's little feet over there. All right, mm, I might make that picture a little bit smaller. We'll let the uh, Sunday card overhang it just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Let's see, there we go. So I figure I'll just make a little note on here of what date it was and what we did. So Lori's layout for this is pretty simple and where it's going to be like a title page, my plan was to stay pretty simple too. Just looking through a couple of papers. I really like the brown. I think it'll offset the tone in the floor a little bit good, a little bit better because it's an elevator. It had horrible lighting, but it was kind of fun. I see it. And Ooh, I like that. Go ahead and shadow. I like to shadow my papers as I go because <laughs> otherwise they start to look funny to me and then I'm like, wait. And then I don't feel like, I feel like I can't really tell what's going on. But that's just a personal preference for me. I know a lot of people have other ways that they prefer to do it. And in my opinion, whatever works for you works for you. Just go with it. That's way too close to that background blue. So it is not going to work. But I love washi. I loved washi when I was a paper scrapper. And I love that with digital washi, it like never wears out. And I don't have a thousand rolls stored everywhere. You may think that's a little bit of a joke, but <laughs> it's really not. 
I have a little container full of the washi tape. We use it for all sorts of things in my house. I'm going to do a little... Oh, I hit the wrong tool. I thought so. I'm going to do a little dodge and burn. So if you look closely, you can see... Right, why is it not giving... Oh, because I pushed the wrong key. <laughs> I like to use the keyboard shortcuts, which are the parentheses. The problem is if I push the wrong one, it just keeps trying to go smaller, and it can't go smaller. So... Just giving it a little bit of a definition so it looks a little bit more like it's actually placed on there. And I usually do this backwards. So when I finish, I'll probably look at it and go, hmm, but I did it backwards again. But we'll see. See, it looks kind of like there's a little bit of a line there, like I pushed it down really hard. So I just like that little bit of an edge that it gives. It's kind of nice to get some of those paper effects. So we're gonna add some word art over here. Let's see, free of my time. Hmm. Okay, I like it. We're gonna leave it for a moment. We'll see, that blue paper may not be working for me. And let's see, just relax. Just relax is a good one, because we're going on vacation. That was what our plan was, was to just relax. Have some family time. Uh, I'm ready for nap time. Nah. Let's be lazy today. That one might work pretty good. Sundays are good for the soul. Hmm. Let's go with some ready for nap time. Nah. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to pull that ready off. Because I think I'm just going to do the ready part kind of what I felt like we were. We were ready to just relax and have some family time. Let's go ahead, give those all a little shadow. This time I am going ahead and using Fiddle Dee Dee's um, shadow styles. I'm going to move that off the paper because I don't like the way that it looks like they're just piled on top right there. Oh, maybe I won't move them. Maybe I'll just move the shadow on this one. But I'm going to go ahead and create. Hit the wrong spot. Create a layer. I'm going to adjust that shadow a little bit. So that it looks like it's going down a little bit. Like the word art is kind of pushing the photo down just a little bit. Because if it was, for me, because I started in paper, oh, I'm still kind of that paper girl. And then we're going to move it down so that you can see that last set of feet at the top. I think that'll work. So you can kind of see the shoe there. And let's see. I have an arrow. I don't know if I want to use that or not. Let's see what it looks like. Hmm. No. Well, maybe. I kind of like the look of it on there. So, hmm, maybe not. Let's see what else I've got over here. Let's stay home. That's definitely not going to work for this layout. Got a little bit of stitching to the back. Add it over here. I am in love with digital stitches. I think it's because I like the look, but with digital I don't have to go and pull out a sewing machine and worry about ripping my paper. I'm just going for it. It's done. Boom. Done. I'm going to go ahead and look back at that first layout. So she has a little bit of an edge on both sides. Well, this is just a scrap lift, so I've got an edge too. But it doesn't have to be identical. I haven't added in the stitches, and that's okay. But if you look at them kind of side by side. See, I can move that over there. You can see, you can still tell that it was inspired by each other. It doesn't have to be an exact copy. That's what I love about scrap lifts, is it's just getting inspiration. Nothing is required. And have a nice little happy Sunday flair. I might add on to this one. In fact, I think I'm going to add it on with a little word strip up here. Well, little tag, I guess it is. Put the flare on top. Get that flare 
our shadows. You might be wondering where we went on our cruise. We actually went up to Alaska. My husband and I had been before when we were younger and married, but my mother-in-law had never gone. It was something she always wanted to do. And so we thought, on a lark one day, why not take her, take my son, because he'd never been, let's go see Alaska again on a cruise ship. So we did. It was actually quite fun. Turned out better than we expected. I mean, if I were to do it again, I definitely wouldn't put us all in one room. Although having the balcony was great, it was kind of squishy. But we decided to go with the balcony over two rooms because we wanted to have the balcony when we did the, um, what's it called, the inside, well, the inside passage and then also when we went to see the glacier, we really wanted to be able to be on the balcony. And that was worth every penny, and that was worth every time of being cramped in the room the other <laughs> six days, was getting to be on the balcony and not have to fight with everybody up on the decks to be able to just watch the glacier. Let's see, this was not December. It was September, and I think I took this with my cell phone, so it'll have the date. Yes, September 17th. And this font is just a stamped font. I'm debating on whether, let's make that a little bit bigger. I'm trying to think of how I want to, oops, I missed a letter there. <laughs> Makes it look kind of funny. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then give it a little stamped look for the date. And then right underneath, I'm going to write um, not in the stamp font. Let's change the font. I'm going to go with the KG piece by piece, which I rotate through her fonts usually, and I'll go back and forth as to which one's my favorite. Right now, this is the one that I've been using. Some of my previous favorites have been like 716, and there's another one. I don't think it's hers, but it's called Always and Forever that I like. Um, one that is hers is Throw My Hands Up in the Air. I love how she names them Silly Little Names, too. This is going to be Seattle Embarkation. Yeah, I'll just leave that. Because we didn't really go anywhere except leaving Seattle. So, and I think if I keep that consistent on all the pages, maybe not the Happy Sunday, but just something and then a little word, a little word strip that has the date and then where we went. Hello Sunday, and I'm just going to look and see, oh good, there's some paint in this one. Add a little bit of paint. I'm just using a keyboard shortcut to move that all the way back to the back, and I'll pull it above the paper. I have a style for mommy-ish, I'm really liking, mm, that's too much, let's go with just that. And let's see, gives the paint just a little bit of texture. So it's one thing that always bothers me about digital paint is it's hard to get a good little shadow on it so that it looks slightly shadowed, but not, I guess, digitally shadowed. So let's see, I think I like that first one, just kind of a subtle, kind of gives it a little bit of definition so it looks like it's popping up a little bit. And I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do to this page today. Because it is going to be a title page. I will probably add a little bit of journaling. But I have a really hard time like journaling while I'm thinking and talking. So I will do that off camera. Um, she did add a little thing here. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. So I think it's obvious it was scrap lifted from there. And I think I'm actually going to make these stitches just a little bit bigger. Not too much, because if you stretch it too much, it looks kind of funny. But a little bit bigger where it's so subtle behind there should be fine. When I want to check, I just like zoom really far in. This is way farther than it would be printed, so I know that it's going to be fine. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you're getting creative, and I hope you're having fun. If you are scrapbooking the month of challenges at the lily pad, 
have fun. We're almost at the end and it's totally worth it. It's always an entertaining blast and I love seeing all the pages in the gallery. Bye.